In August of 2019, I was at the Edinburgh Festival and I saw the incident room and it was the piece of theatre that impressed me the most that year and I was determined that one day I would direct it at Bromley Little Theatre. The thing that impressed me the most about it was the forensic way in which the play looks at what happened during that police investigation trying to capture Peter Sutcliffe and also the chilling moments when in hindsight we know as an audience that they have missed a clue that is really really important. The play is appealing because it doesn't focus on the killer himself. No glory is attached to him. In fact very little is said about him but it focuses on, it focuses on the, the desperate attempt of the police to, to capture him before he kills again and it focuses upon the lives of the women who, who he murdered. Although a, a dark and very gritty drama, the incident room has moments of humour. It's certainly very, very pacey and it, it's a moment by moment account of how the investigation went. I've been over this so many times. Just random killings. How would you deal with that? He's got a name now, did you see? The Yorkshire Ripper. One of you has interviewed him. Someone in this team has sat face to face with our man. Every time I relive it, I push myself harder and harder. Something in here has been missed. And we're going to find it. Because I think I might just get there to his name. He's a triple area sighting in the red light district. I can't stop thinking about him. He's not been caught. He's still killing. What's the point in having police at all? I know where he lives. I'll tell you where he lives. He lives up here and he never bloody sleeps. Please come and support us. Don't be put off by the fact that the subject matter might appear a little bit grim or a little bit harsh because this is an excellent drama, well written. It's pacey, it has humour, it has poignancy, and it, it brings alive a very serious period of history. It's a good night out at the theatre.